All right, everyone, Maryland here again, and I'm just about to head on to Route 6 now. But before leaving, I need to make sure I leave one of my Pokémon behind, because I can actually pick up a kind of nifty Pokémon as long as I have room in my party. So, you should definitely do the same on your way out of town. I'm gonna leave this Zoroa behind. Part of me was thinking of using it, but I really don't know. I mean, it would work. Well, maybe I'll leave this Sand Slash. Oh wait, it has Dig and Cut, that's right. Uh, let me think. Well, I'll leave the Zoroa behind. Um, you know, tell you what. Go ahead and leave a comment if you'd like to see me use it. I don't know, I mean, I felt like I was using one of the really popular Pokemon in the last series, Lucario, and let's face it, Zoroark is also pretty darn popular. And I don't know, I got this thing kind of against popular Pokemon. I just use what I want, but, you know, I guess I'm kind of a hipster like that, what can you say? So right on over here is Route 6, and there is a hidden item, but I can't get to it. It's down there. Darn it. Okay, uh, let's see what we can do here. So, there are several new Pokemon to find on Route 6, and one of them is Deerling, the little, uh, little Bambi thingy, the little deer. It's a grass normal type, and it has access to uh, Jump Kick, which is an interesting fighting type attack. Definitely an interesting Pokemon to consider. The grass normal typing is quite unique, I have to say. Um, I don't really think it's super necessary, but it does have a kind of nifty move, Horn Leech, which is basically a physical based, um, oh, physical based, whatchamacallit, Giga Drain. So that's kind of nice for it. Hey, it's a Meryl, look at that. Go America! No, you don't need to take that Meryl out, don't worry. I'll let it live. I'll let it live. But I do want to know what this Pokemon breeder is going to have. Ugh, am I going to have to go past her every single time I go through this route? Oh, man. I don't like this idea at all. It just irritates me. I'll be honest. It would be amazing if there were no Audino in the game, but the problem is there is Audino, so we do not need you. We don't want you. It's a nice source for money, but so is Castellia Cones, or getting some wings. Yeah. Oh, cute charm. Oh, I fell in love with it, but I just knocked it out. Oh, how will I ever forgive myself? <laughs> oh, poor America. I'm sorry, I'm pronouncing his name wrong. It's not America. It's America! Get it right! You gotta get it right. So, if you really want to prank these deerling, you can use fly or protect or something. So then when they use jump kick, they will, uh, they'll miss and they'll take 50% of their maximum hit points and recoil damage. And that's pretty steep. Okay, do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? All right, here! It's a hidden grotto. Let's check it out and see if we find something cool. Uh, nothing. But, like I said, if you don't see anything on your first visit there, sometimes all you need to do is just search. You can't find shards, you can't find evolutionary stones, although they're rarer. And you can find some other nifty items, I think like PP ups and stuff. Um, usually it's the Pokemon you really want, let's be honest here. But, you do find some items every now and then, so that's cool. Okay, here's another one of the Pokemon you can encounter on Route 6. It is a Fungus! There's a Fungus Amoongus! And, uh, yeah, this little guy is rather defensive. I mean, you know, it has quite a bit of defensive stats. It's a pain leveling it up until it evolves because it just is so weak as a Fungus. Pouring rain, fighting Pokemon. All right, that's an interesting song you've got going on there. But if that will be the song of your demise, Parasol Lady Nicole, Oh, she has a cast form on her team. Very odd looking blobby Pokemon thing. Yeah, um, hmm. so this thing changes its appearance based on the weather. Additionally, it changes its type and stuff too. Because of that, it'll oftentimes pack a variety of moves. In this case, it's using the fire type Ember against me. 
And I don't get to see it transform into anything, which is really too bad, because that would have been nifty. But whatever, I can deal with that. Ah, uh, hear the sad melody of a total defeat. She's singing in the rain, even though there is no rain. Um, hmm. So, one more trainer here to fight. There's gonna be plenty on this route, don't worry. I need to research the experience points of Pokemon for my homework assignment. The experience points of Pokemon? Are you breaking the fourth wall here? Oh man, I don't know. It is a mystery. Oh well, all I know is I could use a little bit of experience points right now, so study this! I've got my brave patriotic eagle flying around. Yeah! So good. Get to ride around on the wings of justice. Oh, you've got a new Pokemon, huh? You've got Shelmet. Hmm, I don't know what to do against that. I guess we'll just stick with you. I kind of miss Aerial Ace already. Fly is just so boring. It takes so long. Oh, I need to get Curse. Or not Curse. Uh, <laughs> I just watch it use Curse. No, I need to get Return on this thing. I bet you it's happy enough with me don't really need Slash anymore. It's not fair to use moves I wasn't expecting. Isn't that the point? Alright, um... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's do that really quick here. Oh, I wonder if anything can learn Bulldoze! I didn't even look. Oh, cool! Maryland can learn Bulldoze, a ground type move. Although, it does have Dig. It's an interesting predicament, because oftentimes you can use Bulldoze and it will then make Azumarill much faster than uh, the target Pokemon, because you lowered its speed, so definitely consider that. All right, I'm gonna get rid of, uh, let me think, you know what? Rock Smash, even after doing twice as much damage, will still do only 80 power, or have 80 power. Well, the equivalent of. Yeah, not really worth it if you ask me. So there is an elixir sitting right here. Pick it up, should you so desire it. And then this, what? That Pokeball just jumped. There's no way that can be right. Nah, it's just a Fungus. Yeah, you can find Fungus if you uh, examine certain Pokeballs, or things that look like Pokeballs. They're really just rather high level Fungus in disguise though. So uh, yeah, be on the lookout for those. Anyway, right on over here, assuming you've gotten your uh, your badge and you've cleared out the plasma frigate, you'll find Sharon over here. Oh, Devin, can you come with me for a moment? Sure, why not, pal? Why not? Whoa, there's a lot of deer in here. No one really talks about it, but the record shows that there was a sudden drop in temperature near Lacanosa town. It was only for a moment, but it went down as low as 58 below zero. Whoa, that is cold. Not only that, but similar temperatures were recorded across or around Castelia City and Driftvale City. On top of that, that incident with Team Plasma. I think this needs some investigation before things go bad. I hate cold weather, though. Oh, you whiner. It's a hidden machine that contains surf. With this, please go to different places and check what's going on. Let one of your Pokemon learn surf and you can travel across the water. Excellent HM right here. Pretty much the best water type you can get in the game. Well, the water type attack. Uh, yeah, so definitely teach it to anything like uh, Golduck. Oh man, Golduck will so appreciate that, you have no idea. Um, definitely, it's 95 power, so that's great. I'm probably gonna have to wind up teaching it to Maryland, even though it has terrible special attack. The reason is, uh, you know, I like that convenience of using Surf. It's just very convenient. I'll probably, you know what, I'm gonna get rid of Charm really quick here. I think I've only used that attack once, and that was as an Azuril. <laughs> I can get rid of it whenever I want. Just have to go to the move deleter. Ah, uh, yeah. So, while you're out here, oh my, none of the Pokemon traveling with you have moves or abilities that change the weather. If you find one that does, bring it to me. I'll give you a Pokemon weather forecast. You can see Deerling from all four seasons in our lab. When it comes to Deerling, we're sort of the experts. We found a rather rare Deerling. Will you raise it for us? What do you say? 
Yeah, sure. If you have room in your party, you can absolutely take this deerling with you. Here you are. Take good care of it. Yay! Devin received deerling. And the good news is, it's actually, uh, it's your deerling. Its ability is Serene Grace. It doubles the chances of getting a move's additional effect. Very nice. Kind of nifty. Um, level 30. So, I mean, you can use it right from the get-go. It's pretty nifty. Um, it's decent. It evolves in just a few levels. I don't remember. I think it's like 34 or something. I'm doing this off the top of my head. But I do recall, it doesn't take too long to evolve it. And that's nice. And then it gets some decent moves. Jump Kick is pretty nifty, though. It's a nice fighting type attack. 100 power, pretty darn good. The only downside is that 1 in 20 chance of missing, where you take half your hit points and damage. Not cool, bro, but, you know. That's kind of what happens. It's a risk, but it's well worth it. Uh, okay, well, I don't think there's anything else in here. Yeah, okay. Well, that was a lot of fun, but I think it's time to move along here. This scientist and that researcher, they will fight you. They absolutely will. And I think they use Deerling, too. Testing out one's theory is all a part of science. I love science! <laughs> oh, man, that was creepy. This dude, Jacques, he needs to hold, like, a flask or something. That would just make him epic. Very epic. Well, he doesn't need a flask. He's got a Deerling! Yep, he does. And he will be using some form of X item. Yep, an X attack right away. Okay, well that's fine, whatever. I'll use fly. And use it again. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that was pretty easy, I gotta say. Analyzing the current situation is also a part of science. She blinded me with science. And then there's another scientist lady over here. I shall uncover the mechanism! Oh, behind trainer and Pokemon relationships. Hey, they changed the line! She was searching for the mechanism last time. I think her line was, I shall uncover the mechanism! And you never knew what that mechanism is. It was just always really ambiguous. And, uh, I guess they changed it. Go America! Yeah! Rock on! Next special. This is just such a gigantic bird. I mean, wow. It's so big. I'm so used to flying around on little wimpy things like, I don't know, Starlies or Pidgeys or something. But this thing is just massive. You still need some levels, darn it. Oh, it's a Carablast. Ah, look at that little Matty Bug thing. I know, it's so funky looking. Look at it. <laughs> Such a silly looking thing. You can find both of those Pokemon here, I think. Or maybe it's one in one version, one in the other. I think they changed it. I'll double check. As I get into a battle, which I know I will. Pick up the tiny mushroom right here, if you want it. You can always sell it to the girl on Route 5. And there's a Moonstone here, so this is nifty. I'd say it's good if you had something like Muna, but you can't get it at this point in the game unless you're using the Pokemon Dream Radar. But even then, I don't really recommend it. Um, let's see, it can evolve things like Clefairy or Jigglypuff or any of the Nidorans. Well, Nidorina or Nidorina. Water Absorb and Dry Skin. Pokemon with those abilities love water type moves and rainy weather. The gym leader in Aspersia City is very familiar with Pokemon abilities, isn't he? Oh, do you know him? Then you can ask him about him through the cross transceiver. Yeah, well, maybe I'll do that, maybe I won't. We shall see. Hey there. To me, the battlefield is a place for learning. Learning! You're gonna get learned here, son. Yes, you are. Oh, yeah, and I was right. So both Shelmet and Carablast are available. And even in both versions, it's just uh, Shelmet is more likely to be encountered in Pokemon Black 2. While, uh, whatchamacallit, Carablast is more likely to be encountered in White 2. When you trade them for the other, specifically for the other, they'll both evolve into their evolution. So that's kind of nifty. If you don't have access to trade, I definitely don't recommend using either of them. But, you know, Defog? Wow, I haven't seen that since my trip in Sinnoh. Wow, I definitely don't need that. No, that's good, don't worry. 
Carablast. Oh, I knew it. Go, Magneto! Do something and maybe learn a new move finally. I'm getting so sick of Thundershock. You have no idea. Ugh, it's just awful. I know it gets Thunder... Thunderbolt before too long. But I tell you, the words before too long have been said for far too long. <laughs> oh, it is just really bad. Okay, well, Alvin. Well, wait, I've got to analyze this defeat. Oh, do you now? Okay, well, go ahead and do that. You've got pretty much the rest of your life. Uh, <laughs> oh, so harsh. Okay, a care blast. Oh my. Oh, uh, I don't really need one. Nah, I'm just gonna leave. I guess I could use a Dusk Ball on it. That'd be effective. Oh, well. Anyhow. Oh, no, it's jumping at me. What's that all about, man? It's an Amoongus. I mean, a Fungus. I'm sorry. I always get my Funguses and Amoonguses mixed up. I do. Uh, let's slash that thing. Oops. Oh well, no big deal. I didn't really want it anyway. No. I don't need you! And, you know what? I'm like, totally looking at uh, Magneton's moves right now, and... I see it does not get Thunderbolt. I'm really surprised. It does get Electro Ball coming up before too long, but, eh. It's a long wait. What on earth was I thinking? <laughs> oh well, you live and learn. Uh, let's see. Ooh, an Ultra Ball. Cool. Not really. Hey, you! Let's battle! Water fun with Pokemon! Do you want to play with us? Eh... Maybe. Ugh. Tihana? That's an interesting name. Can't say I've heard that one before. Okay, well, you've got a cast form, too. I wonder if this thing will actually use one of its weather conditions. Let's find out. Show it mercy for a turn. Powder Snow. Oh, no, you did Hail. Yay! Now we get to see it. See, watch. It's going to change form. Forecast. Cool! It's now Snow Cloud cast form. It's kind of nifty. I'm glad you got a chance to see it. Doesn't really change the outcome of the fight at all, but, eh, you know, my oh my, I lost. Yes, you did lose. Yes, you did. So, oh, it's another Amoongus. They're everywhere. Go America! All right, um, I will try to catch it again. Let's use some slash here, and maybe I won't get a critical hit. Perfect! Now, let's try chucking one of these Dusk Balls at it and seeing what result that gives us. I don't really care about it. In fact, it's not even worth it. I'll use one of these Great Balls. Oh, you can do it! You can do it! Yeah! There we go! Got me a Fungus! Right, I know, something really to get excited about, right? Uh, okay. Well, that's just lovely. That's just lovely. Uh, okay, so, um... Whoa! Cabra! What was that? Ah! It's Gobalion! Oh, snap! What is that doing? Oh, it's just gonna jump away. Oh, hey! Rude! That Pokemon. It's the legendary Pokemon called Cobalion. I told you the story the other day, right? Oh, Cobalion, what a noble presence. They say the three Pokemon, Cobalion, Verizian, and Terrakion, fought against people to protect Pokemon from war those people started. When Pokemon fight, there's no peace for Pokemon either. But when people fight, the three legends learned that the deeds of humans could lead to dire consequences for their world. But 
Why did it show up in front of people? Is it patrolling the Univer region to protect Pokemon because it fears for their safety after the commotion caused by Team Plasma two years ago? Or does it sense a new problem? Unforgivable. So the research of Getsus' ambition and malice is growing ever wider and warping the lives of all it touches. Did Cabalion appear in front of you merely by accident? Yeah, it just kind of fell down from the sky, man. Or to plead with you to solve a problem. Unlike Lordan, I don't have the ability to understand the minds of Pokémon. Therefore, I don't know what the Pokémon is thinking. But if you can befriend Cobalion, it will be a great asset to you on your journey. Cool. Not just people in Pokemon. It's best for all creatures to accept and trust one another. All of them. All those things that aren't Pokemon in this world that are creatures. Charged Stone Cave is great! The Ferocity I met here was absolutely adorable! <laughs> Oh, that Ferocid! I just love that thing! It's so adorable, it's just so cute! Maybe I should go to Celestial Tower on Route 7. I have to ring the bell for my Patillo. Poor guy. Oh dear, your Pokemon. Somehow they don't seem well. So, definitely talk to this woman here and she will heal up your Pokemon. Fantastic. Definitely make use of that. Mister, here, have this. This is a good thing for you. It's a shiny stone. And this beautiful little shiny stone, that can be used to evolve, um, yeah, Mancino, but it can also evolve Roselia into Roserade. So definitely pick that up. I think there's like, oh yeah, I think it can do a Toga Tick and a Toga Kiss, but you probably don't have one of those. Over here is this guy! It's a Pokemon Ranger! Nature! <laughs> Nature! I love nature, Pokemon Ranger Richard, he loves nature, oh yeah, so good, he's got a Whirlipede in his nature, but you know what, I got a America, oh yeah, that was the worst singing in my life, my career just ended tonight, Roxy is personally going to come over from wherever she was, smack me over the head with a guitar, and then, uh, Hopefully pull the plug on my DS, right? I need it. I need to just pass out right now and never show my face again after that song. Uh, oh well. Uh, let's see. Magneto, do your stuff. Hopefully you won't get, I don't know, affected by Spore or something. It seems like these little funguses, fungi, whatever you call them. Is the plural of fungus fungi? I mean, I know in all seriousness, all Pokemon's names are always, you know, they're, what is the term for it? They're always plural. So, multiple Fungus is just Fungus, multiple Magneton is Magneton. Like, oh, look at all those Magneton over there. But there's something fun about, you know, coming up with the plural form of something, just for kicks, I guess. And, uh, it just makes you wonder, would it be Fungi? <laughs> Zangoose? Zangooses? Zangies? We'll find some Zangooses before too long. Nature! Oh, this guy's great! Oh, he's just making my night. <laughs> I really needed that. If I use this, will my Pokemon also become energetic? Only if you shout NATURE to their faces and stuff that in their mouths, right? When we are surrounded by green, we feel more energetic, don't you think? Thank you, Mother Nature! I love you! All right, well, that's just great, pal. I'm glad you're having a good time. <laughs> Very glad, and I'm gonna walk away now. Uh, hopefully I can run from this. I don't really wanna have to deal with these two. Yay! Don't wanna do it. Um, yeah, so now that I have Surf, I can actually check out this place over here. In fact, normally I can uh, cover everything you can do with Surf, but actually, I love doing an episode with everything you can do with Surf. I'm going to do this on that little special to coincide with everything that happens in my walkthrough. Because let's face it, that's how I want to keep things. Uh, right over here, this is rather well hidden actually, a protein just sitting there. Definitely pick that up. And right over here we have the Charge Stone Cave. 
Yeah, this place. Definitely, before going in here, make sure you have plenty, plenty of super appels. Because they will make your life and your trip through there so much more manageable. Oh, thankfully the encounter rate is a little bit better than it was in the original Black and White, I find. But still. Anyway, in the next episode, I'm actually going to be doing a bit of exploring with Surf, okay? So I'm not going to the cave right away. I think that'll be, I don't know, probably an episode or two later. Um, the reason for this is there's a whole ton of cool stuff you can do now that you can surf. So I'm going to check that out in a little episode next. And also, I'm going to check out the Mistralton Cave in one of these episodes, which can be found on Route 6, actually by following that watery path I was about to take you over to. So, I will see you on the next episode of Maryland's Pokemon White 2 Adventure, where we're not going in there right yet, but soon. Alright, see you next time!